This is the sign when the Holy Spirit and the locusts of Revelation 9 are around. Likewise the fire bird, raw fire is his name. The phoenix bird. A lot of people gonna look at it and think it's a rainbow because they see multiple colors on it. Only three colors are there, are the colors of the apocalypse of this planet. Which is green, purple and yellow which represents fire. The green represents the locusts, likewise the Apollo skunkin type creatures. And the purple represents the wormwood poisoning that has to come. I am Abaddon, I am telling you the truth. You will see a lot of signs that scientists cannot explain. They're going to make up some sun ray excuse to talk about. They're always blaming the sun. All the pyramids will be lighting up on the day of war. The day of the rapture. A lot of people died in those pyramids. Likewise, those pyramids are used to signal the Most High when, when someone knows how to work their pyramid on a planet. A lot of scientists still trying to find a way how to work the pyramids and don't know how to. That's why they left them. They can't even crack the codes. These heavenly signs all represent the rapture clouds. When you see the clouds looking strange like that. The bubbly type clouds. It signifies the star of your forehead is coming down. It's the stars that picture, pick, pick up everyone on their rapture day. It comes down swiftly. Attached to your forehead swiftly. And leaves when, however, whether if it's slowly or swiftly. However the creator wanted to create at the moment of his mode. Most likely that it will be a lightning swiftly type of rapture. Because the government have their fingers on the red button for some type of nuclear ex worldwide explosion. To kill the rapture sheeps. They have nuclear all over the world set in place for the rapture on the day. The reason why they do this is because they are working for the devil. And they know that the, the consequence of working for the devil is the lake of fire. As you can see in this video there is the spotlight the Lord has shown, a spotlight in the water. The Lord made the light follow me. Then on that day there were helicopters following me after. But they're living in a secret society. Living subliminal. They've been planning random attacks. Just look at the waters. How the light flashes on the water like a spotlight. I took this with my own video camera. Right here in New York. It's the Holy Spirit that's doing it. In this other pic here, it represents when the fire bird, the phoenix bird is around. That's also when the Holy Spirit comes down as the phoenix bird. It's a male bird, not a female bird. A lot of people get confused with all these things. They are all different. There's a difference between aliens and demons also. An alien have flesh. Likewise a spirit. Now when that alien loses his vessel, his physical vessel, then that becomes what you call people here, demons. Likewise angels are different from aliens. An angel was sent from God. An alien is just part of creation, just like an animal or a plant or a human being. They are not gods. Even though they pretend to be gods because they could make rain with their ships. Don't get confused. And they're not demons neither. It's different. A demon is just an evil spirit. It's not an alien. A lot of you people are gonna die here seeing that you see these signs in the heavens and still sleeping in the society. You're gonna be sad and left here all alone if you don't rapture on that day. Because after the good people are taken off of the earth, 
That's when the invasion comes onto the earth. All the alien invasions and plagues. It's all written in the Bible. Jesus said it. Jesus said when the Son of Man gets here, you will know everything that needs to occur. Now this video here, this cloud here, it, it, it represents something that like a rock, a cloud rock where angels were standing in. I tried to record it, I, I don't know if you, you could see or try to zoom in and see angels moving on top of it. It was recorded right here in New York. Look closely, you will see movement up there on top of it, on top of that rectangular cloud. Or try to have, try to see it on a big screen. You have to be careful out here with how you treat people. Be careful of who you disrespect for there's angels and workers of God who working for God who look like humans and they're here to judge how you treat humans and that's gonna be recalled as part of your judgment a lot of people get mad when you say God don't sleep it's because they're doing something wrong whenever you say God don't sleep it seems like it offends them People come and people go. That's how you people are living here. Like no one is important. You people have lost your morals and norms in this place. Guys changing girls on a random quickly. Girls changing guys on a random quickly. It's foolish how you people are living here. Friends come and go. Friends backstabbing friends. People won't live like that on planet X Nibiru. It's against the law of the Lord. You're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Appreciate your neighbor. Not meaning neighbor all the time as next to who's living next to you, but meaning your associates. Not because you could meet plenty people means that you should dub or disrespect plenty people. People who treat people like that and feel like they're better than people, they're not coming on to Nibiru at no point. They're gonna face hellfire. It's written right there in the Bible. The heavens have no time for pride. Pride, P-R-I-D-E. I'm not talking about gay pride or anything. Think pride, the feelings, pride in you. Everyone have a pride. Your pride cannot come to the heavens. You cannot be a stoosh type, hoity toity, having a I'm better than you type of attitude and think you're gonna make it to Zion. Just as the day you were born, the sun was watching you, it's the same way the Lord was watching you the day you was born. Were born, actually. You have angels in the heavens watching you, likewise you have angels on land watching you. God never sleeps nor his army. His army have no time to sleep. You people here are sleeping in the society. This society is boring. Nothing here is new to the sun. This place is wannabe savage. It's not even savage. You have the women of the planet calling the men lanes. And you have the man on the planet calling women thoughts and hoes and bitches wretch or skank all these nasty words is disrespectful to the Lord the Lord created people you people need to start acting like people and stop being children this whole, whole society needs to grow up the president throwing up 666 signs with his fingers like a little kid I'm talking about Trump Obama Bush, all the, all the American presidents working for the devil. And right now they are hiding the truth about the Son of Man. They've been hiding it since ever since they found me last year. They found out who I was. None of those fools are rapturing anyway. This is their little last days, few days counting down. At least not in flesh, they cannot rapture in flesh onto the new planet. And their memory will be lost. 